Hey, everybody. Well, I'm back today talking about the when in and more about that community and the prosperity business model that we're building. So the when in is a prosperity project that I'm doing with my friend Marge and Marge owns that in and Marge and I have done a lot of interesting things together and we have been looking for a way to co-create that allows us to build a community and build a profit share model that works. And um, so <laughs> we actually came across, so Marge had a different idea and on her way to that idea, this came up. So we have a 10 room inn in a small town in Minnesota, Peterson, Minnesota. And I had posted uh, a while ago about that project and it, you had so many questions for me. So today I'm going to just talk about what I mean in that prosperity business model and what I mean about that love model. So you have to love this concept to be set, to, to volunteer. You, you really have to love that. So I wrote down some uh, notes today about what I mean by that. So the Wen Inn is a small inn. It has 10 rooms. It sleeps 29. The vast majority of bookings that we are working on um, is really people who are doing retreats and people that uh, want to rent the whole space. So that's when it's the greatest. For those people who are who are coming into the Wen Inn as a guest host, the, the prosperity model is this guest host training. So the guest host training is to, one, give people tools to understand how to run an inn and then give them the real life experience of running an inn and that they can also, by doing that, that they can be paid to do that. So they have to pay for the training. They have to have actually stayed at the inn um, before they can become a guest host. So they need to know the space. They need to first know if they themselves can fall in love with that space. If they can't fall in love with that space in that small town, it's not worth it. So when we're looking for people to come, we have to have people that are willing to come as a contributor and as a receiver. So one, you 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 are there for one week at a time. So people guest host for an entire week. And it's traditionally Sunday to Sunday because most of our turnover happens over the weekend. So you want to be there for that time. So um, the guest host will change out on a Sunday. The uh, and late in the day. So when you are thinking about being part of our guest host program, you one first, you need to come stay at the inn and just check it out. Get the vibe. I have lots of videos so you can see the inn beforehand, but you want to come stay as a guest and you want to stay as a guest because you will want to know if this is the right vibe for you. The second is you want, we want people to come into that model that are happy to contribute, that this is a love model, that you have to love that space, you have to love that little town, you have to love all of the things that make that place awesome. And that means there's no technology. <laughs> that means there's no TV. Um, there's, there's no television while you're there. There's no cable. There is air conditioning. There are beautiful bathrooms. There are immaculately kept space. And so the people that want to be there are people who want to contribute and they want to contribute in that love model. And you have to love the idea. You have to love the community. You have to love actual people. You have to love process and you have to love the work because that's what makes it really fun. And we also invite people in who can spend that week uh, enjoying their own free time, that we want you to explore the, the space, we want you to use your downtime, we want you to enjoy the house itself. And we want you to enjoy the community itself. We want you to enjoy what's there. The other thing about loving and doing stuff is there's always work to be done at the end. So when I say people who want to contribute, those are people who have skills. We have people that come that just fix things. We have people that come with their tools, that we have lists of repairs that need to be done. We have people that are 
doing these small tasks around there. We have people that love to talk to other people that may be building relationships, that may be doing lots of different things, but a guest host has to love the work and there is work to be done. And there is tiny little projects every hour of the day, should you choose. So when you come, you want to come into that community as a contributor. And when you think about what you can contribute, I would think about what you can contribute. For me, the thing that I could contribute was um, that I could do the garden or I could do, um, you know, I'm great at weed pulling. Great. I can pull weeds when I'm there. Um, that sometimes I can stay in a deck or I can stay in a chair or I can, you know, do something else. So I just pick the things that you can do well. And it doesn't mean that we expect you to get up on a ladder or, you know, start making beds or whatever, but you, you want to come in as that contributor. And sometimes the contributor is someone who dusts. And sometimes the contributor is the person who does whatever they do. So you as a guest host during that week, it is also an opportunity for you to guest host for your friends. That the week that you are the guest host, you may choose to do it with all of your friends. So you may choose to say, hey, I am running this in for this week. Do you want to be a guest? And inviting people the week that you happen to be there. The second thing is that you have to actually enjoy the journey of all of these people that are coming in and out of your door. And that means thanking them for showing up, thanking them for staying with you. And we already have a super host status for a reason, because we train people. We train people to be excellent. And that means that when you learn to be a guest host, one, come as a guest, two, uh, you know, see if this is your vibe, it, pay for the training. The training will pay for itself. Um, that you just have to work one busy weekend and, and you'll make your training money back. Um, but it is to understand the training and understand what a prosperity business model looks like so you can talk about it because there isn't another model like this. And there isn't another, you know, we are communal, uh, that Marge and I have built communities that are communal. It is that you bring something and we will bring something. So when you are looking at this, you have to think about yourself as a guest host, as someone who has something to contribute in some way. And then we will co-create with you. And that's putting all your ideas down. That's doing a lot of other things. And by having the, that we'll train in 50 of you. So what also happens is that if you are good at learning one in, then that makes you available to other ins. So that's why the training is a big deal. It's learning how appointments come in. It's learning how to check people in. It's learning the systems on the interior of how does an in work and what you have to do to problem solve. And we will be co-creating with 50 of you, 50. So that takes time because we can only train nine people at a time. So it will take us all year to get that training done. So when we, when you say, when I say, come stay, see if you like it, then sign up for the emails, three, complete the training uh, because if you complete the training, it'll take you some time to get into on the roster. So you have to go through all of those steps. But in between time, you may be learning on somebody else's property. You may be able to say, oh, I trained here or I've, I've done this training. The training is uh, worthwhile because it shows you all of the different parts of running an inn and what an innkeeper needs to know. And we came in knowing nothing, nothing, zero, zero. What we came in with is both of us have built hundreds of, between, between Marge and I both, we've built hundreds of businesses. We've worked with and worked inside thousands of businesses. So the business aspect of it, we understood. And we understood both, we both were raised in hospitality. So knowing hospitality, really helpful. And then you come in with that love. And you, everyone that comes into our program, everyone that is choosing to be part of this is choosing because they understand the value of the community. 
And that's all the five parts of the community, right? It's the place that we live. It's the people that are coming. It's you, the guest hosts. It is us, the people that are building that opportunity. And, and it's the towns around it. And it's the customers that come in. That those lives, those people, they're amazing. And so you start to go, oh, okay. And it's just about making people comfortable and making them comfortable in being away from home. And sometimes it's hard to sleep away from home. It doesn't matter if we have the best bed or the worst bed, it's still away from home. And so having a wonderful host that is honestly, that loves being there, that loves the house, that loves the yard, that loves the town, that loves all the stuff you can do and that can laugh with you, great. It's very fun. So the um, the thing that I give to people is, is that we are building it. It is here. It is running. It is lovely. So uh, join us because you might be one of those people and we'd love to have you. And uh, give us some time. We're learning it. We're learning the money. We're learning all of it. We are learning too. So you also have to be willing to love on us while we're learning all the stuff we don't know, because you might have all the answers that we don't know. We, I never, I, I, I don't know. We, we had, we, we just had to learn this year, like to figure out what plants we're living <laughs> or, or, you know, I mean, there's just so many things for us to learn. So, and so it's also being generous with us. So some of you um, have run-ins before that just are like, yeah, come do it for a week. Sure. But be, remember, you, you have to be someone that brings something to contribute. And that is what makes this model work, is that everyone has something to give and everyone has something to receive. And, and that, that communal model will sustain, uh, because it always does. Um, that to love and be loved always works. So I hope to see you soon. And that's, that's the world from us. So thanks for, I got through all my notes and uh, I will see you at the end.